welcome to my room. Today I'm going to have a little mishmash of a video, uh, but my patrons on Patreon, my sweetheart patrons, they actually wanted me to do a little live journal look back. Maybe you weren't into Lolita when live journal was a thing, but that is where a lot of Lolita's kind of first started. They got a lot of info there, kind of like how Ruffle Chat is now, or Big Sisters of Lolita Fashion on Facebook. Back in the day, we just had egl.livejournal.com. One I checked even more though was the egl.com sales. I liked buying and selling on there, even though I didn't have like a lot of money. So mostly selling, I guess. Yeah, so we're just gonna look back at some posts and kind of see what people were doing. I have the cutest little cup today. There's a unicorn and moons. It's actually from Swimmer. It's so sweet. I have like a couple of these and then some little like glass cups from them too. I think I got them on like a Taobao, but they were selling Swimmer stuff. So cute. First things first though, had a lot of Patreons join me and um, I just want to say thank you and I don't think I've done like a proper name shout out for a lot of them so I want to make sure I do on this video. So let's start with the folks in the Rococo Rebellion. We have Ashley, our prize winner for last prize drawing. I'm gonna say Gemma because like crystal gems or gem in the holograms, Gemma. <laughs> we have Carlin, one of my conference, hello. We have Lauren, welcome. Mary, another conference, hello. We have Lolita, kind of the Japanese like Romaji version of the word Lolita. Lolita. Moving on to the Prince and Princess Society, we have Bariana, Jamaica Maori, Rachel and Erika. She was one of my very first patrons, so thank you so much. Let us move on to... I wanted to read one or two comments from my last video, something I want to try to do in my videos. So the last video I posted, it was a announcement for a giveaway, which I'm drawing the name tomorrow, so that's going to be done by the time this video is out. I also kind of showed my hat collection and talked about life updates, just that I wanted to start pursuing a career in nursing, maybe to become a school nurse. Let's read one or two comments from that video. A lot of people were saying, so glad you're back, Clover. A unicorn bag, so cute. Yeah, I do want to try to like bare minimum one video a month. So maybe one week is focusing on filming and editing a video. The next week I'm more focused on studying for nursing. I think I can manage that. People really liked the teacup headpiece from the last video. So, OMG, I need that teacup headpiece. Perfect for my wonder party day, okay. Ooh, my friend Colleen, she says, Happy to see you again. This is a great exploration of your headwear. It gives me ideas of what to make and to buy. Like, I need a small blue pirate hat now, girl. <laughs> we'll wear our pirate hats together. Like I said, this is gonna be kind of a mishmash like video. We'll get to live journal very soon. There is an artist that I have been following on Instagram. I guess their name is Pompon 7 Waxe. If you go to their shop, to their profile through their link on their insta they have this is their little shop go to the goods go get the goods go to the goods and just look look it <sighs> everything sold out or there's like maybe one left and they make these cute little custom plushies everyone's like a little one of a kind special and I woke up at like 4 a.m. one day because I just do that sometimes I wake up at 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. just like weird freaking times and I saw they had restocked or they posted on their insta that they restocked I got I got two little babies I got two little babies and look how they package it they do like little art and they did the really cute like deco tape I'm gonna play that Oh, here's little Ducky Chan, little Cody Chan, and he's just a little flat boy, <laughs> and he has little 
little feet and I just can't get over his little mouth and these eyes like you can tell they're custom like they pour a little like glitter resin and they do little blush on the cheek and just like a little sweetheart bunny. so it just says hug me and like they use a different little cute fabric for all the like bunny ears and again they just have like the little glitter resin eyes so I was just really lucky to like get one when they restock it's so soft it's just so soft like I would love to just like pin it <laughs> like okay he's just here with me today or maybe she I'm not sure headpiece let's move on to life journal this is like where Lolita culture in the West just developed. So it's egl.livejournal.com. It's still here. In fact, someone just posted this month. Hello, Violet Noir. I always thought Live Journal was cute, although a bit convoluted. I, I miss all the avatars. The whole journal set up just for like posting avatars, like icons and stuff you can use to like represent you because no one ever put their own face on Live Journal. Not like not like really not often especially not in like weed communities like the ones that I was in <laughs> looks like a lot of people if they've been posting recently they've been doing wardrobe posts but I wanted to look at the old old oh also this whole site is like owned by some Russian company now so you get all these like very weird ads welcome to my first wardrobe post in nine years yeah Hello, Alana Lioness. I really, I recognize this avatar. Do you post on Facebook? I feel like I, I really recognize it. Maybe it's just a popular avatar. So, what you can do if you are a new Lolita or someone who just wants to look through the, the annals of time, the annals of time, look into the past. You can do archive. You can change the year. You can actually just change it like in the URL here. So I went to like 2000. I checked a few years before that and I didn't really see anything. So 2000, which was, I, I wasn't even in high school yet. I think when, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't even like in high school yet, but look people, be posting. What are you guys doing? People going to Comic Cons. Sounds about like now. <laughs> so that's how you can kind of explore. The search function isn't the best. You can search here. Let's search uh, Angelic Pretty. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that did not work. <laughs> I guess you can't search there. Oh, maybe it's here. These are all ads. God damn it. Discussions and essays. Uh, why is Lolita called Lolita in 07? And then three years later, why is Lolita called Lolita in 2010? Guys, use the search function. Sometimes a question has been asked, you can know the answer to it if you search. So they say, I'm really curious about this. I'm not meaning the plane, but I want to know. If it's inappropriate, then mods, please delete this post. Okay. This still happens. I see this on Facebook groups all the time. If you are opening your post with not sure if against the rules or not, mods, please delete if it is. Just read the rules again before you post. Like, what do you do? <laughs> I, al I always laugh when I see people just go like, not sure if against the rules or not, but <laughs> you gotta know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> The rules of Lolita in the West and the rules of Lolita in Japan seem to be very different. For example, there's things that people criticize on these Western comms that I think would be fine over there, like in the East, in Japan. Uh, but I only have minimal insider knowledge. I was wondering if maybe those people had spoken at length to people in the industry. The industry just wants you to buy. Just spend your money. Get your wallet out and spend your money. But anyway, I, uh, I was scrolling through this a bit. And I think this answer is still applicable now. This was an 08. Like, I was barely out of high school at this point. They say, I think with rules, we need them to learn them so we can break them. 
but you gotta start somewhere. When you get more into Lolita, you know what can work and can change for you, but I suppose that when you start, it's better to play it safe, or you might make some dreadful mistakes. Basically, learn the rules first, do the rules, <laughs> practice the rules, and then break and experiment. You'll thank yourself later. You'll thank yourself. 13 years later, this still applies. Style guides. The following is a list of style guide journal entries. Wallolita, Kiwolita style guide. I guess they couldn't figure it out back then either. <laughs> the big one. A list of tutorials. Yes, so if you still, for some reason, don't have access to, you know, all the Lolita and Otome no sewing books, or if you're not in the sewing seamstress Lolita group on Facebook, or you just can't find any other resources, Live Journal, there's still some resources. They're still applicable. Not all of these links are gonna work, and if they do, not all of them are gonna have pictures that work. Maybe you can use the Wayback Machine or something and figure something out. But, I mean, there's some tutorials here for basic stuff. Removable sock garters. Okay, this person has their tutorial still this avatar so I found one though and it was by Angel Yanshi and she made a rose comb tutorial this is still so applicable so cute so it's just really simple get your little combs get some wire spray paint them if you want a certain color and just wrap them on wrap the leaves on wrap the roses on it looks really nice let me show some other finished pieces. Oh, so cute, so cute. In 08, EGL. Very uncomfortable experience. Yeah, we've been, uh, we've been having uncomfortable experiences in Lolita since way back as a community, just. <sighs> All right, this is really weird. I was kind of looking for, you know, topics and things to scroll through for this live journal look back and I found a story that I specifically remember reading back in the day and it kind of has always stuck with me like I don't even know if it's really true or not but this seems like kind of a hard one to make up so basically they say this person spent months scripting saving doing odd jobs sewing borrowing buying until at last they had their first Lolita outfit and they made a pink gingham candy skirt they had a white blouse, pink bolero, so they were hype. They got their outfit on, they went out. After school, they put it all on to go out with a couple of friends. The school's right near a mall, so they can walk across a couple of streets to meet them, blah, blah, blah. Their school was right across from a mall. Uh, right before this person gets to the mall, they have to cross a Lowe's parking lot. They're going, listening to some music on their iPod. Out of nowhere, comes a wall of black paint. They scream, scared out of their wits at this incident. Then a car full of laughing teenage idiots drive off. A paint bucket still held out the window. Black paint all over my outfit. I cried a lot. And as I forgot my cell phone at my house, I walked into Lowe's where a nice lady offered me a phone to call my mother. And that, I... I remember reading that like so long ago and I actually found the post again kind of randomly and I'm just like that's just freaking horrible but then what's weird is like they want to give up on Lolita and I'm just like that sucks that that's your first experience like really wearing it out but like no you can't if you really love it if you really love it you're gonna still like you're gonna keep looking it up at home researching like collecting pieces eventually you're gonna wear it out again you know like that's freaking traumatic but don't give up don't give up because frankly you could have been wearing anything I, I don't think it was that you were like in Lolita those those guys just sounded like they wanted to do something horrible to someone drive by and like get away with it like so anyway, I found my old little profile that I used. Uh, and I, apparently I sold a lot of stuff. I made this account in 08. 
past updated 2016. Whoops. I found this on my profile. I guess I commissioned someone to make a little drawing of, like a pixel drawing of a chord I wish I had. Like, I didn't own this at the time. It's supposed to be me, but needless to say, I saved this. I'm gonna use it somewhere. So here were my friends, apparently. So if you were any one of these, we were friends in the live journal days. Hi! <laughs> uh, these are some of the communities I was in. Boston, Lolita. I don't even know, like, what are some of these? Cream candy? Oh, is this like a- oh yeah, this is like an avatar, like, oh, use their graphic kind of thing. Daily Lolita. I'm in closet of frills, and every other day I just want to leave it. <laughs> Oh yeah, hatchery. I was all about the clickable pets, dude. I wanted to like make my own site for it. Oh, all these beautiful dragons. Get off EGL. I don't remember joining that. Oh yeah, so I'll do a little bonus here on my live journal. I had a little gallery. I remember in the EGL com sales back in the day, I tried to sell this like so many times and they were like, no, you can't sell this bag, this body line bag, it's a replica. And I'm like, what? What did a replica? I was so confused. And then one mod like finally explained it to me. She's like, it's a replica of like an AP like parfait print or something. I was like, oh, body line had a re like, I don't know why I didn't think body line could do kind of a replica of something. Oh yeah, it's like literally this. Like not a design inspo, just the same fabric somehow. I don't know how they got it. But I still actually have it. I really didn't even know. Like, I just have it. So it's just like a tote bag I can use for whatever. Jeez, this is a skirt I really like. I wore it to a Ren Faire like quite a few years ago and I got like a lot of compliments on it. Like, they were like, oh my god, fairies. And I wore it like with a big white billowy blouse. It's kind of not in my style, although I love high-waisted skirts. Uh, back in the day, this was kind of the thing I would make and post in my Etsy and I'd be like, Rococo elegant Lolita. This is crazy to me because look at this blouse. I was trying to sell this blouse. It says it's from The Gap. That's totally a lolliable blouse, bro. Like even now, it's okay. Maybe you could throw like a faux collar on it, but like even without, this is the dress I sold. I made this. I'm kind of proud of it still. I made this without a pattern. I just was kind of, I was looking at so many JSKs and I drew JSKs like all the time, like doodled. And I was like, oh, I kind of under, started to like understand the construction, like the basic construction. Like it's essentially a rectangle. It goes around your boobs, <laughs> two straps that are just rectangles. And then the hardest part is, you know, the gathering here, like under the like bust area. And I don't know, I must've had uh, some time on my hand because I made this cute little like lacy bust area. I had this fabric from Joann's. You can see like it is not lined on the inside. I didn't sell it for like a super high amount. But I remember the person I sold it to was like going through pregnancy or something and they were really happy to have it and just be able to wear it. So I was like, well good. They've probably like thrown it out by now. It's okay. Um, this was another like body line lucky pack little skirt not my style but you know it wasn't poorly made this was a jsk from a body line lucky pack it was like lime green and magenta <laughs> not my style but decently constructed i guess you could say so this was such a weird one it had like this this was again body line lucky bag i just resold the whole lucky pack it was like kind of a cute concept like for valentine's but the rose it was like a rose fabric with like a really fine red like mesh over it and i don't know that just it didn't seem like my jam and then just another off-brand little blouse 
which I thrifted. That one's cute. It's not like really Lolita, maybe it's kind of like Otome style. Um, actually, that's kind of the direction I'm taking my Etsy page in. Good segue. So I have an Etsy. I've had it for years. It's gone through like different phases of, you know, what I'm selling and stuff. But I kind of wanted to thrift some things, get some style ideas together, and then post them on my Etsy for you guys. And like, so I found cute little sweaters and stuff. And then of course I have like my channel merch, like my keychain and stickers. And if I can figure out how to do a coupon code for my YouTube followers, I would definitely do that. If these don't sell, I'm gonna wear them because these are really cute. Y'all better snatch it up before I snatch it back. I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am now gonna go film a little lookbook with this outfit. It's a wrapping heart by Angelic Pretty. And I'm gonna make like, I don't know, three or four different cords with kind of different color blocking and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Bye.